What's up guys what's going on welcome to our GH Tech TV and today I'm gonna let you know about a video editor I personally use it's a VSTC free video editor so if you're an aspiring youtuber then at the early stage this is a perfect software for you so in this video I'm gonna give you a software walkthrough video where we look at some basic things like importing a video audio file trimming them transitions various effects splitting tool text effects rendering and much more make sure to watch this video till then so that you don't miss on any important points all right guys let's quickly go to google and search for vstc free video editor so let's type in and it gives the suggestion so click on the first uh, suggestion and uh, you have to look for videosoftdev.com and uh, click on the download link so here it will give you option to download the video editor it's very small in size as you can see it's just 35.1 mb so download that and install it as you do with any other uh, .exe file so another thing which you have to look for uh, in this on this website is uh, news that's so that uh, you'll get to know about the latest version being uh, launched uh, and uh, you can you can learn like what are the new things which are being added so let's look for the latest version july 4 december 6 is the latest i guess so click on this and uh, you'll get to know like uh, what are the things they have added uh, newly added and it will be you know told like so and so thing is added so you can look at that and uh, uh, also we can see that uh, vstc free uh, vstc video editor is absolutely free to use so uh, let's quickly move on uh, with the uh, the video editor itself so after installing you'll get uh, an icon like this which says vstc free video editor so double click on that and let's wait for it to initialize so it's initializing templates that's fine so uh, it gives you an option to upgrade to pro version well for basic video editing i don't think so you need that but well if you need to upgrade you can definitely do that by hitting on this upgrade button so as of now let's close it and uh, we'll see it some other day and uh, here uh, it's important for you to know that uh, uh, you you'll get an option to create a blank project create slideshows import content video capture screen capture by the way uh, the screen recorder which I'm using is VSTC screen recorder itself so I'll, I'll make another video on that one and uh, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna uh, you know create a blank project but just to mention that uh, the recent files or the recent uh, projects which you have done it will be listed over here so you can directly open them from here itself and these are like tutorial kind of things so if there are any video effects which you want to know if you click on that it will take you to, uh, to that website to explain the things so it lists the with with the screenshots so how to do what to do so you can refer to these if you want to so quickly let's move on with the video editor itself so in this uh, in this way many things like masking tool chroma key so you have to learn about them you can click and then have the tutorial kind of thing you can go ahead and learn with that all right so now let's create the blank project now here you'll have to set certain things so let's uh, firstly name the project so let's name it as demo all right sorry see generally I actually record the videos in HD because my videos are content based and not they're not too flashy actually henceforth uh, uh, to save the rendering time and processing time I go with HD itself I record videos in HD I render them in HD and I upload them in HD as well so but you can go with full HD as you can see or ultra HD 4k uh, both aspect ratios are available 4 is to 3 and 6 to 9 you can select them and uh, I like to keep other things uh, to the default settings uh, itself so frame rate uh, I would go with 30 frames per second right frequency channels I'll just keep it to uh, the default settings itself uh, background is the one which you get on the template so I'll keep it to black itself so uh, let's finish this one and uh, as you can see we have created a new project so I'll go with certain things over here so quickly let me explain certain things and then uh, I'll guide you by an example but taking an example how to uh, import a video import audio uh, and uh, import images right how to render them various other settings I'm gonna let you know one by one uh, make sure to watch this video till the end so firstly on the top left corner we have an option to save playback and uh, you don't have to look for this you can create a new project from here itself or you can open the project from uh, your, your already current project from here itself I actually don't use that much so I just close the application and then create a new project itself so you can save the project from here itself so firstly let's save that one and uh, this is used to playback so first thing which I'm gonna let you know is uh, the menu on the top row 
so you have project scenes edit view editor export project so I mainly use editor uh, from here you can add an object like uh, you can import the video you can import the audio you can import the image you can add a text you can you know draw a rectangle or ellipse so if you want to um, demonstrate some things you can do that as well uh, and if you go to uh, in the uh, in the editor itself you can also find uh, video effects so from here you'll have some quick styles so that uh, you can give uh, uh, some good Instagram styles for your uh, videos which I'm going to show you that in a minute and you can also adjust certain things like uh, contrast levels or you know saturation you can do it from here itself and uh, there are some filters as well so some blur filters Gaussian blur motion blur right sharp and pixelized you can do that from here itself transforms so you can actually zoom into the subject you can uh, have the perspective or the skew or the shift right you can do that as well so if you go to transparency you'll have fade in fade out custom transparency you can opaque make the opaque uh, get them into being transparent clipping borders background remover you can do many other things so it would be easier if I could guide you with the example itself similarly you have the audio effects so you can fade in or fade out the um, audio you can amplify the sound uh, lower the sound or increase the sound so you can do many other things so I'm gonna go over them but before that uh, you, you don't have to uh, you know add the object from itself so if you go to view you can actually uh, remove uh, these uh, uh, toolbars so editing tools so if you don't want them one second you can uh, remove them but I would like to keep because I actually don't have to go to editor to add an object I can do it from here itself it's a shortcut so if I click over here add a video I can so let's go to desktop and see if I've created a folder over there yes it's there so let's uh, import this video so click on this one double click or then click on this one and then hit open and uh, it will be scaled according to the template which you have chosen in this way so if you double click you can actually add transforms you can actually add transitions you can add many things contrast or brightness uh, to add them you'll have to double click and then add them I'll show you that in a minute but before that what we'll do is we look at properties so if you right click you will get an option to go to properties or else by default uh, you know uh, it gets uh, selected to, to the properties window itself on the you can see that on the right to bottom corner so properties and resources as you can see so let's double click on this one so as you can see you have the resources and the properties so in properties you can actually you have the settings to play backwards you also have the settings to play uh, you know increase the speed of the video and uh, you can uh, you know mute the audio of that video that's the first thing which I'm gonna do because uh, sometimes uh, you will have to do voiceovers and uh, you'll have to merge different audio with this video in that case uh, I would go to audio you can actually decrease the audio level of this video or increase the audio level of this video or else you can completely mute it like uh, don't use the audio so next we're gonna see the cutting and splitting so here uh, let's uh, see you, you'll have shaky cameras you'll have to adjust certain things while you're making videos so in that aspect uh, so you'll have some shakiness at the start and at the end so you'll have to remove them you'll have to trim them so for that uh, so let's select start the selection then play the video and uh, see like from where uh, the actual video starts so it starts from here let's uh, pause it and uh, let's end the selection as you can see it's been selected between these two red lines add the area of deleting and uh, again play the video and wherever you feel the, there is shakiness you can go ahead and then uh, cut that areas by starting the position by selecting the start position and the end position from there you can actually delete that area so let's uh, stop it here and then again start the selection and then uh, move it on till the end and then you can end the selection so add the area of deleting and then apply changes so now you have a perfect uh, video so let's uh, you know save it and then let's play back and see if everything is right yes everything is right so now I'll quickly show you how to split a uh, uh, certain part of this video so if you have to you know um, uh, increase the speed of that particular part something you can do that so what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, go to this position and we'll try cutting the splitting the video over here so for that you'll have to go to editor you'll have the cutting and splitting tools so click on 
split the video into parts and the video is split into parts click on uh, click on the panel itself and then separate this part and uh, think that uh, your pointer is somewhere else in the in the between and if you want to take to the end it's very tough actually you might end up you know uh, getting a second or two uh, forward or second or two backwards so what you'll have to do is right click on this one and then uh, you'll have move cursor to the end so you can move the cursor to the end of this uh, part of video so let's join this part of video to this one as you can see and let's increase the uh, the speed of this uh, second part so let's increase the speed to uh, 200 300 we'll be fine i guess Sp uh, like we have actually increased the speed so let's test it so as you can see it's now in, in, in it's it's actually playing pretty fast in the second part right so uh, in this way you can actually do that and if you want to play backwards you can do that as well let's test that so in this way you can actually say do certain things from uh, the properties panel itself so now we are perfect with the uh, splitting tool and also cutting and splitting uh, the video uh, to 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 trim the video so we have also learned how to increase the speed of the video and also uh, to play forwards or to play uh, backwards all right guys now quickly let's see how to add transitions between uh, these two videos and finally we'll also see how to render this project so quickly let's move on with adding transitions so uh, actually if you notice we'll not have this smooth uh, you know transition between the videos so as you can see you can notice that abrupt cut so for that uh, basic one which I would suggest you to use is fade in and fade out so that works most of the time for that you'll have to double click on the video item which uh, you want to add a, a fade out so double click and then go to editor and then video effects and then transparency and then fade out so that would work out and then what you can do is you can actually uh, leave the cursor over here itself and then move the second video to this cursor and then uh, go to this video clip double click and then add a fade in effect to this uh, second uh, video so for that you will have to add a fade in effect and now let's see how is the transition so let's save this one and then let's play it so you can see that it, it was seamless and it looked pretty good so not only that but uh, you can actually add many things for now let's disable this fade out effect and let's try and add something else for that let's go to editor and let's go to video effects and uh, we can see that we have transitions so let's go to chess right to the scene and absolutely and uh, let's try and uh, add a you know a chess effect so I believe uh, this would work out so as you can see you'll have uh, some nice effects like that so in the same way you can actually add many effects so you have chess you have wipe so if you want uh, the first video to move out uh, while the second one comes in or you can you know do vice versa you have push you have mosaic page turn diffuse fade many other things actually you can just you know explore more on this in similar way you can add text add effects to them and then you can add uh, transitions as well similarly to images you can add effects transitions and do many other things so you can import the text from here as you can see add text and uh, you can actually import images from here right so these were actually the basic things now if you want to change the color tone you can do that as well go to editor and uh, you know video effects so firstly just uh, firstly double click on the item which you want to add effects or whatever you need so just go to editor video effects and you have some adjustments over here so you can actually change the contrast brightness you know saturation you can do that otherwise there are some preset modes actually so by using preset modes you can actually change I don't know like one second <clears throat> so alright so you have to come out of that uh, you know uh, object mode into this uh, normal main screen mode and from here you can add quickly add uh, select the item as you can see you can select the item and then quickly add some pre-composed effects uh, for example for that you'll have to go to editor 
and uh, you can go to video effects and then quick styles or you have the shortcut over here itself go ahead and add like so if you want to add this early bird effect you can do that so as you can see it gives uh, this nice effect to this one similarly you can add effect to this one as well so uh, there are actually many things you can do you can also you know color grade and uh, that that's actually into an onto a next level so it's a it's a bit of advanced editing and i will take that uh, if you are interested so let me know in the comment section uh, so if if i could continue i would definitely you know love making tutorials on that one as well and uh, as of now quickly uh, let's see how to render this project for that you'll have to go to export project which you can see over here uh, and then what I do is uh, I actually tend to select the format so for me uh, the, you know the default format would be WMV I like to I actually usually uh, export my projects onto WMV and uh, select you know change the output uh, location wherever you need that one and uh, go to conversion then uh, you know remove this preview uh, uh, you know check mark because it actually consumes a lot of resources so I believe uh, that should be eliminated so don't play while you uh, export the project so remove this preview and go to conversion and then uh, start the conversion if your location is fine I don't think so it should be an issue so you can quickly go ahead and uh, convert this one so start the conversion and it gives you this uh, menu saying that if you want to upgrade you can do that but as of now I don't want to so I'll just hit continue and as you can see uh, it starts converting so already you can notice uh, the percentage uh, of the video which is being converted over on the top side and uh, once it become 100 percent it's uh, you know completely converted so uh, that's it guys uh, if you feel this video was informative give it a thumbs up share this video with the friends and family follow us on twitter at rgh tech tv and uh, subscribe to us on uh, youtube for more videos like this and most importantly thanks for watching and i'll uh, See you real soon.